Okay, good afternoon all of you. So last time we have seen an expression for potential energy. So today we are going to see the concept of electric potential and the relation between your electric potential and electric intensity. So let's proceed further for the concept of your potential energy first. Then we will proceed for the electric potential. What is the electric potential? And then we will go for the relation between your electric intensity and electric potential. So last time what we have seen, we have seen the expression for potential energy which was given by U which is nothing but potential energy at distance R was given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R. Unit of this potential energy is nothing but joule. Now, one joule can be defined as the amount of work done to bring one coulomb of charge at the potential difference of one volt. I will repeat again. One joule can be defined as work done to bring one coulomb of charge at the potential difference of one volt. So this is the unit of your potential energy. There is one more unit that is electron volt. So electron volt is nothing but the unit of potential energy which also tells us that it is nothing but the kinetic energy of that electron. So now these are the two units of this potential energy. Now let's proceed further for the concept of electric potential. Before that we can write the value of one electron volt. One electron volt is always written as 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 year joule. So the value of one electron volt is nothing but 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. Now let's proceed further. What do you mean by electric potential? And the concept of your electric potential. So let's study for concept of electric potential. Now in this what we have seen we know the formula for potential energy which is given by U at a distance of r that is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r. This is the formula for your potential energy. Now even this formula can be written in number of ways. So one way I will write here. So this formula can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 upon R into Q2 or even it can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into bracket sorry 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 upon R into I can say Q1 so here in this both the ways we can write this formula. Now here this factor is nothing but the electric potential. So how can I write? I can write potential or electric potential on charge Q1. So electric potential on charge Q1 at the distance R into Q2. So as it is written as this thing is nothing but electric potential on charge Q1 in at the distance of R into charge Q2. Same way this formula can be written as this is nothing but electric potential not at charge 1 now it is at charge 2. So 1 will get replaced by 2. So electric potential on charge 2 at distance R into Q1. So I can write this as electric potential energy U is equal to V1R 
into Q2. So I need to define this electric potential. So if I take V1R at one side, so it will look like UR upon Q2. Or I can say of this, by this formula I can say V2R can be written as U R upon Q1 and this is nothing but my electric potential. So how can we define electric potential? Electric potentials are nothing but potential energy per unit charge. I will repeat again. Your electric potential can be defined as potential energy per unit charge. So in this way we can define the electric potentials. I hope the concept of electric potential is clear to you. So we have started with the reference of expression of potential energy. We have written it in a different form. Then I have said that this thing is nothing but electric potential on charge Q1 into Q2. Same way it can be written as electric potential on charge Q2 at the distance of R into charge Q1. So I have separated the formulas. This can be equal to this. So the formula can be written as V1R is equal to mu R upon Q2. Means this is nothing but electric potential. This is nothing but potential energy and this is nothing but charge. So in this way we can define the electric potential as potential energy per unit charge. I hope the concept of electric potential is clear to you. If it is clear then we can proceed further for the relation between your electric potential and electric field or electric potential and electric field intensity. So I wait for a second to have a look on this board. You can have a look on this board, see properly, then we can proceed further for the relation between these two that is electric field and electric potential. Okay, now we'll proceed further for the derivation. So now we are going to see a small relation. That relation is relation between electric potential and electric intensity. So let's now derive the relation between these two. So for that we need a diagram. So I can say I consider a point over here on which Q charge is there and at a distance of x at a distance of x I consider a point M on which a test charge Q0 is there. So what I am saying see at point O my charge Q is present at the distance of X that is at point M my test charge Q0 is present. Now what I want to do I want to displace this Q0 charge at point N means I have to take this Q0 charge from point M to point N by doing some displacement that is dx. So again I will repeat what I am saying here. I want to take this Q0 charge from point M to point N that is towards charge Q by doing some displacement dx. For doing this I need to do some work right and why for this the work done can be written as minus F dx. Why minus or why negative sign is there? Because your force and displacement are oppositely directed. So this negative sign indicates that. Now here we are talking about this force. Now for this force by 11th standard you know the definition by the definition of electric intensity. 
So I can say by definition of electric intensity, it can be written as E is equal to force per unit charge. So electric intensity is defined as force per unit charge. So I can write this force as E into charge. Right? If I say this is my equation 1, substitute the value of F in the equation 1. So it can be seen as dW is equal to minus E Q naught dx. Now if I say this Q naught is a unit charge or unit positive charge, then the value of that Q naught will be 1. So if I consider this Q naught as a unit positive charge, then it's, it has a value 1. So no need to write that 1. So I can write this as minus E dx. Right? Now this E is nothing but electric intensity. And this dW is nothing but work done. We know always the work done can be written as change in potential energy or electric potential. So this work done can be written as dV which is nothing but electric potential is equal to minus E dx. Now if I take E as the, at this side that is towards your left hand side. So E will have an equation that is minus dV by dx. Now what might dV indicate? Might dV indicate change in potential upon change in displacement. So change in potential upon change in displacement is nothing but potential gradient. So change in Change in potential upon change in displacement indicates the term that is nothing but this whole term indicates it is nothing but a potential gradient. So I can say my electric intensity is equal to negative of your potential gradient. So I will write it in a full form so you will not get confused what is PG. It is nothing but potential gradient. Right? And if you need to write the unit of this potential gradient. Potential gradient is what? Change in potential energy upon change in displacement. So I can write the unit of potential gradient as. Change in potential energy means unit is volt. And change in displacement means meter. So volt per meter will be my unit of potential gradient. And this is nothing but the relation between your electric intensity and electric potential. So I hope this is very much clear to you. So once you can have a look on this board. This is the simplest relation between your electric potential and electric intensity. Thank you.